The government's been lying to you again. Shocker, I know. But if you've ever wondered if the electric vehicle's sky-high mileage rating is too good to be true, well, I'm exposing how the EPA's MPGE figures are misleading millions of people, skewing your car buying decisions and hiding the real cost of driving green. So what's MPGE? It stands for Miles Per Gallon Equivalent a metric that the EPA cooked up back in the Obama administration to help you compare electric vehicles to gasoline-powered vehicles. Sounds great, right? They took the energy in a gallon of gas, 115,000 BTUs, and figured out how far an EV can go on the equivalent energy, about 33.7 kilowatt hours. For example, a 2011 Nissan LEAF was rated at 99 MPGE. That's like saying it's three times more efficient than a gasoline-powered car getting 35 miles to the gallon. Whoa, sign me up, right? But here's a problem. It's a fairy tale. It's a scam. The EPA assumes power plants turn fossil fuels into electricity with zero energy loss. That's not just optimistic. It's impossible. Basic physics, the second law of thermodynamics, says no energy conversion is 100% efficient. In reality, U.S. power plants average just 36% efficiency. That means that 64% of the energy is lost as heat or friction before it even hits your EV's battery. The EPA is ignoring this, inflating EV efficiency like used car salesmen selling you a hyped-up lemon. Let's crunch the real numbers. The Department of Energy thought they had a smarter approach under the Obama administration, and they didn't factor in power plant losses, the fuel mix, even the energy to refine gasoline for traditional cars. And when you use this method, that 99 MPGE Nissan LEAF, if you use real-world numbers, that drops to just 36 MPGE. That's right, about the same as a Toyota Prius Hybrid or a super efficient gasoline powered car like a Honda CRV. Suddenly, EVs aren't the runaway champs they're made out to be. 